Every time we want to do a video, Stanley wants to make a debut because I think he wants his own channel. And this is Theo. He is a hot mess. He likes to dip his head into water and then go like this everywhere. So again, if you hear noises, I apologize. It's these two little nuggets. Hey guys, what's going on? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Brittany Nicole, and today we are talking all about the Lisa Eldridge Summer Collection lipsticks. So I have been dying to look at these, but I did wanna go ahead and open them up with you, and we're gonna go ahead and do a try on. So if you don't know who Lisa Eldridge is, she's a celebrity makeup artist. She happens to be my absolute favorite makeup artist. I have her book, and I have her prior lipstick collection. I have a whole video on these as well. If you wanna check that out, I will link it below, and I'll put a card above. These are the most beautiful reds I've ever seen. The formula is absolutely amazing. They look velvet. It's hard to come across on camera, but they look like velvet in real life. They are so pigmented and they are my absolute favorite red. Since I picked these up, I have not put another red on my lips. They're that magical, but Lisa is so talented. Every time I watch a video from her, I'm inspired personally to get on here and do a video. She's amazing, just absolutely amazing. So I'll link all of her social down below. So I will link all of her social down below. She has a YouTube channel, she has Instagram, and you can find her work everywhere. She also has a really, really good makeup book that's kind of on like the history of makeup. So anyway, that's just a brief history on Lisa, but today we're gonna go ahead and get into these. So I'm gonna go ahead and open them up with you, and then I'm gonna put them on so you guys can see them live in action. I have been like, a kid on Christmas. I've been watching her Instagram and all these people posting pictures and I'm like, ah, I can't wait till I get them. So the day is finally here. So there are four lipsticks that came out with this collection when there were three of the reds. She's also restocking the reds if she hasn't already very, very soon. If you didn't get your hands on those because they were limited edition, she is restocking those really soon. But check her website for that and follow her on social media so you can get updates. So when you purchased two lipsticks, it came with this linen case. I got another case the last time I ordered those. It was like a black, beautiful velvet bag to go along with the lipsticks, and this is perfect for summer. I love little bags like this to just throw in your bigger purse so you can keep things organized. I'm definitely a bag in bag type of person. So like I said, four colors, they all look absolutely stunning. I didn't even fully look at them before I like put them in my car. I mean, I did because she did a video and I got to see them on there, but I was just like, give me them all. I know I'm gonna love them. All right, so the first shade we have is Go Lightly. I want you guys to check out her video. So she goes into how she formulated them and why she came up with them and all that good stuff. So check out her video on this, but Go Lightly is a salmon pink color, and I think it's kind of like a play on Audrey Hepburn's signature lipstick. She did have one lipstick that she tries on in that video that I think was really like that lipstick, but it wasn't perfect for her, so she didn't put it out there, which is a telltale sign of an professional makeup artist, if you know what I mean there. So anyway, I just want to go ahead and try these on for you and give you my thoughts, but I do want you to check out that video because she really goes into detail. So you could just see on the packaging how beautiful this is. Every detail is just stunning. She really puts time and effort into everything. So even the packaging that typically is gonna go in the garbage. I love her emblem there, her like signature with the lips. It's so pretty. She just puts a lot of detail into things. So you know whenever you get something from her, it's gonna be beautiful. So it's the same exact packaging as the red shades. And we'll go ahead and open it up. No fragrance, I think she mentioned that in a video as well. No fragrance, which is key. Love it when brands do not put fragrance in things because some people are really, really sensitive to that. But you guys, I can't look at this. Talk about one of the most beautiful salmon pinks you've ever seen. And there's her emblem again on the side there. This is absolutely stunning. I cannot wait to put this on my lips. So I'm not gonna put a lip liner, at least at first. I'm just gonna go right in 
with the tube. All right, so I just wanted to scoot in a little bit closer so when I try this on, you guys can actually see what's going on. And then I also wiped off the Aquaphor I had on my lips. So I'm just gonna do a couple of swipes of this and we'll see how much pigment we get. I think this is a little more sheer than the other ones from what I've read online and what I just read about the color. But let's go ahead and do this. I cannot wait to get this on my lips. All right, so that is one swipe. Talk about one of the prettiest summer colors. And if you didn't want it as vibrant as this, you don't have to go in as hard as I did. I put a little bit of pressure when I went in. You could just take your finger, which I typically like to do, to make, kind of soften colors. Because I'm not usually a super vibrant lip kind of girl, but wow, that is absolutely beautiful. This is unbelievably comfortable. It almost feels like I have a moisturizer on my lips and it's so easy. This is one of those lip shades that you could throw in your purse and just kind of touch up as needed. You don't even need a mirror for something like this. You get that vibrant color, but you don't need to be so perfect with it, if that makes sense. So this is absolutely stunning. I think I'm gonna be grabbing for this one all the time. You know, I'm just curious if I go in again before I switch over to the next shade if it'll get even brighter. Yep, definitely. So you can really build this up to what you need. Oh, absolutely love this one. I think you guys will love this one as well. All right, you guys, so in between, I'm taking pictures for my thumbnail. So if the color is off a little bit when I come back, that is why. I have my camera on a manual setting, but usually it kind of changes because I think it kind of adjusts to your face. So anyway, next up we have Love of My Life, which looks like this. And this one is a medium true rosy pink and it's also semi sheer. It's not too blue and it's not too red. So I think this one's going to be gorgeous as well. It seems like this one might deliver a little more pigment when you put it on, but it does say in the description that it does have a sheer to buildable color. So let's go ahead and try this on. We're gonna do the same thing. One swipe on top and on bottom and then we'll kind of build it up. Oh no, this is definitely a lot more sheer than I thought it was gonna be. That was two swipes, but you guys get the story. Getting a little too excited here. So that is one. I really like this one. So let me go ahead and build it up a little bit. I know we did kind of two on the bottom there, but this is beautiful. Ooh, I can't tell if I like this more than Gold Lightly. I mean, they're two very, very different pinks, but this is so pretty. You could see how hydrating it is on camera. You could see the sheen basically, and that's exactly how it feels. It feels just like the other one. Like I said, like you have a moisturizer on, comfortable for all day wear. And again, very easy to touch up because it is sheer, but also buildable. So wow, absolutely love this one. I'm gonna have to decide at the end which one I like better. This is a little bit more of like a statement pop. Go Lightly is still a statement, but a little more reserved than this one, in my opinion. All right, so I just wanna show you guys how easily these come off. This isn't one of those things where you're gonna be like prying at your lips. This is just a Kleenex, it's not a makeup wipe. And it comes off that easy. So very, very impressed by that as well, that a lipstick can deliver pigment like that and still come off that easy. Okay, so next up we have Rainbow Spill. This is the same texture as the reds and it is so beautiful. I hope the camera will show what this looks like when I show you. I think you can kinda see that texture on camera. You need to get these in person to truly be able to experience it. This one is a bright red coral watermelon pink with a muted neon edge. How cool is that? I don't think anybody has done a lipstick like that. So this one is the insanely saturated and so is the next one. So the first two were a little more sheer. This one is more saturated. So when you do one swipe, you'll have full coverage. And it also has a demi matte finish and also that same weightless feel. 
So I know I'm getting kind of excited when I do these and I'm kind of rubbing twice, but this time I'm definitely going in once. It might not be as pretty when I put it on since I'm not being as precise going in with a bullet, but it does have a very pointy edge, which is nice so we can get around those edges. So I'll show you what one swipe looks like. We'll do the top lip this time. Full pigment. I know it's not pretty, but absolutely amazing. Fix that edge. One swipe, and that is stunningly beautiful color payoff. Just absolutely amazing. I don't know how she does that, but this is definitely one that we'll need to touch up the edges with. So I'm going to grab a lip brush and a liner for this one. All right, so I just grab the concealer brush and I'm just gonna kind of fan and soften the edges a little bit. See, I just accidentally hit the top of my lip and it already picked up color, so. I thought I was gonna need to go in with a liner, but I actually don't feel that need to do that at all. Using this concealer brush was absolutely fine. I hope you guys can see on camera that beautiful neon kind of look to it. It is so pretty. I can't even compare this, like I said, to any lipstick. It is so stunning. It is so comfortable. It's so lightweight. I am not somebody who can wear matte lipstick anymore. My lips are just too dry and I don't like how it looks. This. I can wear all day. You could see that semi matte finish. It is so pretty and I don't feel like this is one once it sets down that's really going to transfer onto everything you eat and drink and everyone you kiss and all that good stuff. So, so pretty. Definitely, definitely a statement color. You will absolutely get comments on what lipstick you're wearing with this color. I think this is absolutely perfect for summer and look how white my teeth look with this. Anything that makes my teeth look whiter gets two thumbs up from me. So Rainbow Spill is definitely one that you guys are gonna wanna pick up. Let's go ahead and try to take this one off with a fresh Kleenex again and see if there's any staining. Comes off super easy. This one I did take a little bit above my lip line this one does leave a little bit of pigment on your lips, you could see, but my lips are also kind of irritated because I've now gone in and taken three colors off, but nothing bad by any means. When I wear something like the Kylie lipsticks, or when I did, because I stopped wearing those, I would be scrubbing at my lips in the bathroom to the point that they bled, so Go for a formula like this over that. All right, you guys, and finally, we have Skyscraper Rose. This one is an electrically modern fuchsia pink. It's also one of the insanely pigmented lipsticks. It says, so pigmented and so creamy, a truly dreamy texture that glides on seamlessly and gives 100% full coverage with a demi-matte finish and weightless feel. It can also be dubbed on, dabbed on, not dubbed, <laughs> on as a slight stain for a more suitable effect. So this one seems like it's gonna be pretty pigmented, but like she said, you can kind of lightly go in if you wanted to to make it a little more everyday wearable. So we'll try the whole one swipe. It has the velvet texture, just like the last insanely pigmented one and the red. So very excited for this one. This one is out of my comfort zone. So we'll see how I like it. Kinda like to draw a line down the middle. Don't get it on your teeth though, and then go from there. Oh, I think I was just blocking it with my mirror, which probably wasn't helping you, but just like the other ones, insanely pigmented, insanely comfortable. Let me just touch up some areas that I missed. She said something in her video, I believe it was this color, about going in with a nude liner to kind of change the effect of this one. It I think it was this one. It might have been, 
rainbow spill, one of them. Like I said, when you guys watch that video, you'll see what she talks about, but going in with a nude liner kind of changes the look and feel. So this is an LA Girl pencil liner in flesh. So I'm just gonna kind of go around the edges with this just to touch everything up and bring some variety into the video. So let's see here. So I put the liner just on this side and obviously I rounded off my lip a little bit more and there's a little more shape there since I was able to get precise with that. But I feel like that made it look quite a bit softer actually. I can't remember what she said it did with the lipstick, but watch that video and you'll find out. I'm just going to even these out. Okay, so this is Skyscraper Rose with the liner on. I also took my concealer brush and just kind of touched over to blend everything together and perfected the sides a little bit. In all honesty, in my day-to-day, -day, I probably wouldn't go in with a liner unless I was going to an event. This is super comfortable. Once again, my teeth look super white, so I love that. Very pigmented, very comfortable, has that demi-matte finish, and I love it. Again, such a statement color. So I did swatch all of them on the back of my arm so you guys can see. We could just kind of review everything. So as you know, the first one we have is Go Lightly. Then we have Love of My Life. Those are both the more sheer formulas. You could see on my arm even how hydrating it is. And even when I was swatching it, I could feel like it was like kind of water going onto my arm. It was very interesting. And then we have the two Insanely Pigmented. We have this one right here, which is Rainbow Spill. And then we have Skyscraper Rose, which is also the one that I have on my lips right now. So obviously, you guys could tell from the beginning I was gonna love these. Of all of these, I would say the most wearable would obviously be Go Lightly and probably the most universally loved. In all honesty, like especially when I swatch them, I think that's gonna be my favorite. I know I was between Love of My Life and Go Lightly, but I really do like that. And then I also really love Rainbow Spill, I think. Lots of people will make comments on that when I wear it out. So I hope this video was helpful to some of you if you were interested in purchasing these. Otherwise, if you're interested in seeing any more videos from me, please subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to go check out Lisa. I promise you guys will love her. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.